Hi, I'm Jason Burhill, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you one of my favourite ways to create blocks quickly. Forms, don't you hate them? Wouldn't you rather just get on and get the drawing done? I've always found block creation really disruptive to my workflow. By the time I've mucked around and filled in the form to create the block, I've often forgotten what I needed it for in the first place. Well, there is a solution for real time, not a form in sight block creation. And best of all, it's built right into BricksCAD. Here on the screen you can see that I've created a few simple objects to work with. So let's use them to create a block. First, select the objects you want to use. Then from the Edit menu, pick the Copy option. This will copy the objects to the clipboard using the Copy Clip command. Now returning to the Edit menu bar, pick the Paste as Block option. This will paste the objects back in as a block using the Paste Block command. You're prompted to pick an insertion point and there's your selected objects converted to a block. If you do this again, notice how you're only prompted for an insertion point. There is no mucking around answering questions about scale or rotation. OK, let's try this again. First I'll make a few changes to my object for a visual cue. Now if you select the Edit menu, notice how there are Quick Key references alongside the Copy and Paste options. So let's try using the keyboard instead. Select the objects you want to use. Press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy them to the clipboard. Now press Ctrl Shift V to paste them in as a block. Pick an insertion point and you're done. Now that's a pretty quick way to create a block. What's more, if you need multiple copies of this block, you just carry on pressing Ctrl Shift V and BricsCAD will simply insert another copy of this block. Just to prove we are in fact inserting blocks, Let's use ref edit to modify our block definition. I'm just going to use the hatch command to add some solid fill to my object. Then save my changes and return to the drawing. And there you are, each instance of the block has been updated. Now what if you wanted to specify a base point? Not a problem. Instead of using Ctrl C for copy clip, you press Ctrl Shift and C to use copy base instead. BricsCAD will then prompt you to specify a base point. I'm going to select the centre of the circle for mine. Then simply press Ctrl Shift V to paste as a block. Notice that my insertion point is at the centre of the circle. Finally, what if you want to change the names of your blocks to something more meaningful? Again, not a problem. Simply open the Drawing Explorer and in the Block Definition section, pick on the block name and then type in your new name.
I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out all the others on Brixis TV. Download the free trial version of BrixCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.